Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is Saturday, 11 races, and what a special day it was. Mandatory payout in the Rainbow Six. So let's see what happened in all the action. We'll check the track, the weather conditions, and then turn it over the track. Announcer Pete Aiello. Partly cloudy conditions with temperatures in the upper 80s. The main track is fast. The Tapita track is fast. First race, first half of the early daily double. The start of the 50 cent early pick five. In the first race, scratch number four, Golden Wonder. Number four, Golden Wonder, withdrawn from the first. Racing at Goldstream. From the center, follow QTR was quick into stride. Warp Speed Baby has speed. Voice of Now won't be far away. And Broadway Ruckus trying to work over as they charge to the first turn. From behind the speed, it's Ghost Fighter together with Freddy's music and the favorite poetic code, Cynic is widest of all. Length and a half to Shipwreck, who's toward the rail third last. Second last is Papa Charles. And Silver Matt is last of all as Warp Speed Baby is in front. Warp Speed Baby completes the opening quarter. Two better than follow QTR in second. Voice of now under a stronghold while racing in third. Up between horses and Freddy's music. Wide on the course and Cynic. Down at the rail, that's Ghost Fighter. A length and a half back to Poetic Code, who's racing together with Shipwreck. That's another two lengths back to the trailer, Silver Matt. And at the back of the field is Papa Charles. They make their way five furlongs from the finish. Warp Speed Baby has been in front from the outset and maintains control. Vasquez lets out a notch on follow QTR to keep his position while flanking the leader in second. Voice of Now is now third. Rios moving Freddy's music into the tracking spot. He's now into fourth. From the back, Zayas weaving through traffic on first race favorite Poetic Code. He's in the blue. He's up to fifth now, four lengths off the lead. Cynic tries to rally as Ghost Fighter drops back. Silver Matt is underway with less than five sixteenths to go. Warp Speed Baby has the lead three parts of a length. Follow QTR is second. Freddy's music needs racing room. Voice of Now on the outside. Poetic Code and Silver Matter next. And they're at the top of the stretch. Warp Speed Baby, now 3 sixteenths from home and now two on top. Follow QTR second, Freddy's music and voice of now are next with an eighth of a mile to go. Warp Speed Baby has a kick and has put him away. Voice of now tries to rally into second with follow QTR. Warp Speed Baby down the road. Follow QTR was second, up third, voice of now, fourth was Freddy's music, then Poetic Code, 145 and three. They're off. From between horses, get a grip. Marilyn was away quickly and reaches out to take the lead from I Like Vino, who comes away racing in second, speeding through Wicklow Gal. In between horses, two beer buzz, and up on the outside, Exageradora, as they make their way to the final half mile. Get a grip, Marilyn, and Luca Panici in front. From the outside, Exageradora is now second. At the rail, Wicklow Gal is their third. Cozy bidding up on the outside. Two beer buzz is next. Always Sun is toward the rail. I Like Vino drops back after a brief bid, passed inside by Poetic Union as they round the the far turn, Prussian blue is last. Less than three-eighths of a mile away. Get a grip. Maryland has the lead while trying to shake free. Exageradora is there second toward the outside. Cozy is there third. Wicklow Gal is at the rail in fourth. Running home a touch is Poetic Union with a quarter of a mile left to go. Panici confident in the saddle on get a grip, Maryland. She's now established a clear lead while shaking free. Opening half mile in 48 seconds flat. Get a grip, Maryland. She's got a grip, all right. She's in front by six with an eighth of a mile to go. Wicklow Gal tries to get into second. Poetic Union is down the center, but it's six to one. Put a ring around. Get a grip, Maryland. Get a grip, Maryland. Sharp in victory. She's unveiled with a six length debut score. Exageradora holds on for second. I think Cozy nails Wicklow Gal for third. Then Poetic Union, 113 and three.
love the Breeders' Cup winning your own series. To win one of these Challenge Series is a way that we kind of map out our schedule throughout the year with our horses. So if we're considering two different races and one was a win in your end and one was a not, then I think that would be the tiebreaker for us. The automatic berth takes a lot of pressure off. Breeders' Cup Challenge, win and you're in. Excellent beginning for the favorite telephone talker. He was one of the first into stride. He's not intent on getting to the front, though. He'll allow Prince Mayor to go on with it, and he kicks to a length advantage. There's no pace on. Telephone Talker is there second from the outside. That's Cash Call Kitten, three wide. Timmy M is at the rail, held up between horses' impressive speed, and the trailer is Journeyman. Around the clubhouse turn they go, and jockey Samuel Camacho Jr. and Prince Mayor settle into a nice rhythm on the front end. They're getting a very soft opening quarter, and they lead by three. Edgar Zayas has stronghold of the favorite telephone talker racing in second with Timmy M at the rail third. From fourth in cash call, Kitten wide on the course in Journeyman. The trailer is impressive speed. Less than five furlongs to go. The opening quarter was 26 and one. Very easy lead for Prince Mayor. He's clear too. He leads by two and a half. Telephone talker is second. Timmy M is third as they start to close a bit of ground. From fourth and cash call, Kitten fifth and out wide journeyman. At the rail, it's impressive speed. They have less than half a mile to go. The pace has to pick up from here with Prince Mayor still the target. Telephone talker has had the benefit of a great trip. He's second with no excuse. From third, cash call, Kitten winding up wide as journeyman. At the rail, Timmy M and impressive speed is last as they run to the top of the stretch. Prince Mayor still holds command. From the outside, telephone talker in a more earnest position now second journeyman begins to run home from the outside there's a quarter of a mile left to go with the advantage prince mayor taken on by telephone talker journeyman down the stand side there's an eighth of a mile to go here comes journeyman up on the outside of telephone talker who tries to find under pressure 16th to go journeyman lifting up on the outside telephone talker battling hard telephone talker journeyman photo finish They're off and running. Last in, first out, Makazan gets the first call from Zydeco, who moves to take him on. Grand pick is away in third. In tight, very tight, in fact, we're both armor piercing and carabinero. They make their way to the half mile point. It's Zydeco in front, three parts of a length. Makazan is there second. These two have opened quickly on a third running, ready on the line. He improves around horses. Grand pick is back to fourth. Fifth early is RK Flacco. Then it's a gap of another two to Carabinero, who was inconvenienced early. He's ahead of armor piercing, and Rockland Express is at the back. Around the far turn they race, it's Zydeco still clear and still finding. Second is Makazan, still well clear of the others. Now it's Carabinero's turn to play his hand. He's up to third on the outside. Grand pick is at the rail, dropping back ready on the line, and they're at the top of the stretch. Franklin Gonzalez Jr. and Zydeco off the corner with a three-length lead. Makazan second, Grand pick and Carabinero are next. There's less than an eighth to go, and it's Zydeco clear with no dangers. Zydeco under jockey Franklin Gonzalez Jr. win and win with something in the tank. There's six or seven in front. Makazan trying to salvage the place, which he will. Grand pick is third. Carabinero is fourth. Then major deal. post and they're off checked hard at the break was hello jack 
at the rail. It's Supercomputing who comes out firing, moving to take second as Dream Knight congruent on the outside third. Live as life is an early fourth. Down at the rail goes Peregrino G. Two back to not normal, and after a terrible start, the trailer is Hello Jack. The leader is Supercomputing, and Edwin Gonzalez clear by two and a half. Congruent is out in the center while racing in second. Dream Knight is to his inside. The race favorite is live as life. He's down at the inside, creeping closer. He's up into third now. A gap of three to Peregrino G, then not normal, and far back to Hello Jack. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Three and a half furlongs to race. Supercomputing leads by three parts of a length. Trying to bridge the gap second is congruent, working two and a half better than Dream Knight, who's together with Live as Life. Another two more to Peregrino G, who's six in front of Not Normal, and Hello Jack is last. At the 516th, Zayas moves on congruent to take the lead. Supercomputing is second, and he's not he's been asked to kick yet. Gonzalez trying to wait as long as he can. Into the clear comes Live as Life, and they're at the top of the stretch. Congruent committed for home now. He has three sixteenths more to find and two lengths in hand. Live as Life is second. Down the center in Dream Night with an eighth of a mile to go. Congruent is responding in kind to jockey Edgar Zayas. Peregrino G begins to run home well. He has a shot for second, but home and cooled is congruent. He's in front. Peregrino G not only did get up for second, he made ground on the winner. Third was live as life, 125 and four. Ready? And they're off. Picture perfect start. As expected, Lake Leo comes out firing, and he's cleared the field from the inside. Negligence tries to go with him up between horses, and Verrazano in the sky. Far outside, Dirt Road Dollars as Oriental Park was beaten for speed. He lands fifth early. Down at the inside goes Pacific Legend, and Small Reason is last. Less than half a mile to go. Jason Juarez pushes his chips all in on Lake Leo. Three furlongs from home and five on top. Here's Dirt Road Dollars making good ground. He's up on the outside into second. Around Awesome Pudding, who's now third. Trying to run home from the back is Small Reason, Oriental Park. He better pick up his feet and do it pretty soon. He got shuffled back. He lost his spot. And now he's six lengths off the lead with Small Reason moving to challenge for the lead. There's a quarter of a mile left to go here. Up front, here's Small Reason on the far outside, sweeping forward to take the lead. At the rail, Verrazano in the sky got through. Oriental Park just not firing today as Small Reason makes a sustained run from the back under jockey Sonny Leone. And he's a winner. He's 8-1. to one. He's Small Reason. Why two and a half? Verrazano in the sky was second, holding third, Dirt Road Dollars, then Oriental Park, and Awesome Pudding. Excellent beginning. 
From between horses, Cacciatore, ridden for the early lead. Tis a Duke and Ensign Skip have speed. Anamnestic is next. Lights of Broadway wanted some early position. He shuffled the fifth early. Back to sixth is Universal Hero, together with Tigre. The trio at the back are Coal Miner's Kitten, Doc Ballard, and Shea on the lamb. And the run around the first turn, it's Ensign Skip, who was intent on getting to the top, and he's there now. Cacciatore has rail position while racing in second. Tis a Duke is now third. Up to the outside, Tigre just claimed fourth from Anamnestic, who's back to fifth. Sixth early is Lights of Broadway. Up to seventh goes Shea on the lamb. Universal Hero is eighth. Ninth is Coal Miner's Kitten. And tenth and last is Doc Ballard, as they continue to skirmish past the five-eighths. At the rail, Edgar Perez and Cacciatore had no choice. They had to kick or they were going to lose their spot. So now they're in front with a mid-race move. Ensign Skip is alongside in second. Tis a Duke is third. These top three trying to break away from the others. Up to the outside, Shea on the lamb. Tigre is next. Three wide lights of Broadway. And then it's a gap of another three to Universal Hero. Coal Miner's Kitten has a lot to do while trying to warm to the task as they run to the top of the stretch. Ensign Skip on the outside. Cacciatore fighting back toward the rail. Tigre strides into third. That's all for Tis a Duke. Passed outside by lights of Broadway. Really nothing running home much right now from the back as they straighten for home. Ensign Skip on the outside toward the rail. Cacciatore, they've been in a protracted speed duel throughout. Lights of Broadway has a shot at him, although he's shifting ground. That gives Tigre a look. Here comes Tigre at 8-1. to one. He strides forward to take the lead. Tigre is the leader. Back to second is Cacciatore. Trying to run home from the back. Here's Coal Miner's Kitten for a slice, but the winner is Tigre by five in the end. Cacciatore was second, and third was Ensign Skip, then Lights of Broadway. All set for the late pick four. And they're up. Our noble Ortega was quick off the blocks and tries to move over to the inside. Majority rules has tactical speed. From the outsider, Uthgar, not far away. These three are quickest. Then it's the team of My Man Flint, Silent Chaos, and Solar Tap. They're two better than Ghost and You, third last. Charming Charlie is second last, and the early trailer is Starship Wizard. In the run around the first turn, Sonny Leone now sends majority rules clear to lead a length and a half. Our noble Ortega is second, Rothgar now third. On hold fourth is my man Flint. He's in the two path with silent chaos along the rail. Three wide goes Solar Tap, two in front of Ghost and You, together with Charming Charlie. And still at the back is Starship Wizard. 24 and 2 for the opening quarter speed. They make their way four and a half furlongs from the finish. Majority rules by a length and a half. Our noble Ortega second, my man Flint. He's in and amongst rivals while racing into a contending position. Rothgar's on the outside, silent chaos. He stays put at the rail. Then moving a gap of two to Ghost and You, who's racing outside of Solar Tap, then back to Starship Wizard and Charming Charlie as they make their way to the far turn run. Majority rules taken on three wide by Rothgar, two path our noble Ortega, silent chaos. He he waits his turn at the rail. He's got some run, but no place to prove it. My man Flint is with him. Meanwhile, Ghost and You got started in the clear, and he's up on the outside now. Trying to rally from last is Starship Wizard. Plenty of chances here. Up front is Ruthgar, who has the lead. Ruthgar to the top of the stretch by a length and a half with a wall of pursuers. Down the center, Ghost and You into the clear. My man Flint. Starship Wizard's over the top, and they're at the top of the stretch. Here comes Ghost and You. Let go for a run on the outside of Ruthgar. These two with an eighth of a mile to go from Starship Wizard with the advantage. It's Rothgar right back at him. Ghost and you. Ghost and you puts a neck in front. Rothgar on the inside. Ghost and you. Ghost and you for the money. He won it narrowly over Rothgar. Game and defeat. And they're off. Slower to start than the others was Camonero. 
Quick to break was Full Disclosure, who heads off for a clear advantage from Uranium, who comes away racing in second, trying to hold inside ground as I'll figure it out. Caminero had no place to go, and he got shuffled back to last. A rough opening quarter for him. Mid-flight early is ba Big Bad Bobby, and then it's back to Celestial Gates as they race to the half-mile point. Uranium doing battle with full disclosure. Up to third while three wide is Poseidon Sun. Fourth at the rail, I'll figure it out. He's got no place to go. Out wide in Celestial Gaze, then Caminero ahead of Big Bad Bobby. And the trailer is at the back of the field is uh, Celestial Gaze as they round that far turn. Full disclosure, three wide Poseidon Sun, two path Uranium. Celestial Gaze is four wide. Caminero, after that early trouble, he's fifth while hard ridden. I'll figure it out, does not look comfortable today. He plummets to second last, and now the trailer is Bad Bad Bobby as they line up across the course to the top of the stretch. Four wide, Celestial Gaze issues the challenge to Poseidon Sun who just took the lead. Full disclosure and Uranium right there, four across the course. Celestial Gaze, he now powers forward to take the lead. Running hard, but running second is Poseidon Sun. At the rail, it's full disclosure, but at 7-1, to one, it's Dan Hurtak and Sonny Leone. It's Celestial Gaze in front. Celestial Gaze to do it. Second was Poseidon Sun. Ended up close for third. As I'll figure it out, re-rallied to photo with full disclosure. Uranium's fifth. Strategic speed. Some speed at two, but can carry it on through their later careers. Improbable. Full of run. Improbable. Now a grade one winner. It is a complete runaway. An authoritative run. It's improbable to win the Whitney. Benny the Bull Stakes. Good start for Gatsby, a better start for King Cab with absolute grit between horses. At the rail, here's Real Talk moving up. Puddings hunting some forward position ahead of Chivalry, and Morgan Point is last. No doubt about the speed, it's King Cab. He's out the center trying to relax early. He leads by two and a half. There's four across the course behind him, led by Gatsby out wide, Real Talk toward the rail. Absolute grit's in tight between, and Pudding is alongside him. Two back to Chivalry, and the trailer is Morgan Point. Opening quarter was 22 and 1. There's half a mile to race. King Cab has the lead by a length and a half. From the three wide side, it's Gatsby. Now between horses, Pudding. Pudding's on the go. At the rail, it's Real Talk. Then back to Absolute Grit. Chivalry tries to catch up today. And the trailer is Morgan Point. Around the far turn at the three furlong grounds. King Cab leads, but only by an neck. Gatsby is there. Second, Pudding looking for some place to go. On the outside, the veteran Chivalry is underway. He just went by Absolute Grit. Running home from the back is the long shot. Morgan Point as they reach the top of the stretch. Krigger's trying to get some more from King Cab, but this is the time where he fails to kick in, and it looks like that's the same thing today. Meanwhile, it's Pudding who's down the center trying to get Gatsby, who just took the lead. Gatsby for a final eighth of a mile with Pudding up alongside. Morgan Point is on late. He's a good price and up into third, but Pudding has the lead, and the Benny the Bull goes to Pudding by a widening length. Gatsby second, Morgan Point third, Chivalry fourth, then King Cab.
They're at the post. And runners away. Allegedly perfect comes out firing and looks for a clear lead. He has a lead, but it won't be clear as Henry's world is on to challenge. Sassy but smart moving up on the outside. Wider than him in Frenchman Street. Wider than him in Zamfir. Wider than him is Earth. So they're stacked across the course here as they swing to the far turn. Allegedly perfect holds rail ground and the lead. Four wide Earth. Three wide Sassy but smart. Two path. Henry's world. Parici has Frenchman Street in a good tracking spot. Fifth behind the speed. Outside sixth at Zamfir. Two back to no name maybe. Then ask for Bodie and Poseidon. Out the back are loud and proud and valid exchanges. They run to the top of the stretch. Three wide sassy but smart. Launching four wide is Earth. Five wide and trying to come around him is Earth. Around the outside it's Frenchman Street. They fan across the course. Allegedly perfect is still the target. From the outside it's Earth. Wider than him and Frenchman Street. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Here comes Frenchman Street. Tries to get Earth on the outside. Frenchman Street and Earth. Earth is very game. But Frenchman Street has power Pass to victory. Frenchman Street by a length and a half. Earth is second. Up the inside, ask for Bodie, then Poseidon. 104 and three. And that wraps up Saturday's card. We're back here on Sunday with a 10 race card, first race post, 12.25 p.m. And we got stakes action. Race number nine will be the surf side. So lots of good reasons to come out to beautiful Gulfstream Park. Good night, good luck.